Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today I have some projects that I'm gonna share. Uh, I just listed, or not listed, but posted a little reel on Instagram sharing these tags here that I made, whoops, these big old tags here, um, and then these little tiny ones using the little present die. And I use Scrap Diva Designs dies. Um, Hold on, let me grab this other one over here. I have them in little baggies separated. So, um, the first set that I use to make these tags are the Christmas Tag Bundle set. And it comes with all these dies here. So you have, I already shared, I think, what, two weeks ago? Maybe longer, gosh. Time's just flying by, guys. Uh, but it comes with this set here. And so this is your larger part here, as you can see. And then we have um, the overlay that is almost the same shape as this one, but this one has little stars, which is so cute. And also the little stars in here, um, kind of hard to tell sometimes depending on the paper. Um, the thinner it is, the crisper the line it appears, the star appears, but I like it either way. Um, so you're gonna do that. So I'm gonna make some with you guys today. I've done some prepping so it's gonna sorry I'm like where's my camera at um, it's going to lay like that now this one here is um, a double one so it folds so when you can see that you're gonna have um, two so you could do two of, well I'm gonna I've done a couple other ones I just haven't finished them up because I'm decorating them. but I did a little folio and I used the um, cookies for Kringle line uh, from fancy pants design and then I put this tag which is kind of snug so that's why I didn't add anything on the tag but I thought it was cute for like if you want to do like a Christmas journal or just send like cute little things you could obviously add a little piece there to kind of prop up the um, pocket a little bit more and give you more space but I did this and oh my gosh I just I had fun with this paper when I first got it I think I got it in like August or when they first came out I picked it up and just the paper pad <clears throat> and then I screwed up my order and ordered two of the same ephemera pack instead of one of each so yeah and I was gonna do magnets and I ordered them and then I threw them away ugh, ugh, ugh. I'm still mad at myself about that but anyways so it comes with the snowflakes and the little bows which the little bow is the one that I used on the nutcracker tag which is here this little bow is the little one which is so cute and then i added a little charm on this guy here this little um his name is harvey he's tim holtz die said i had to get him i think that was the only thing i picked up from tim holtz this year um i don't know i'm just not it's too many pieces for me too many pieces <laughs> i'm such a lazy bum sometimes okay so i use these die sets and then I also use this die set here, and that's what I use to create these super cute little tiny ones. How cute are these? And so you can add them to a tag, right? So I use a larger tag. I didn't use a small tag, but the small tag is perfect because um, I've got like so many different projects, you guys. So I use a small tag here, as you can see, and this large tag here, and I'm going to create cute little gift tags. I'm not done yet. I'm I'm, this is another project, but I thought I'd share so you guys can see. And then here's the little present with the layering up. And then it comes with the stamp. So this is a Christmas stamp and die set, I think is what it's called. And oh my gosh, it has so many good words. I like it. I'm going to use the follow the law one for a project I've got going. So I can't wait to share that one. It's gloomy over here, so my lighting really sucks, guys. And I am not set up for video yet because I'm I'm lagging. I'm just, uh, I want to just craft and share the pictures and on to the next thing. My ADHD is, when it comes to crafts, is wild. I don't stick, my table is so messy, guys, because I can't, I don't clean up and I'm on to the next thing and it's horrible. Okay, so what I did for my tags... First is that I glued down the little piece here and I just use, you know, you can use whatever glue you have. I just use my regular tacky glue here just because um, that's all I have available right now. I think I've mentioned before, I want to order the Barely Arts glue because I've had it before, but I'm horrible about ordering glue online because I'm impatient. And so I just run to the dollar store and get the bottle for, you know, the 125 
and when I have coupons. Um, the other tape I like getting is from, um, whatchamacallit, uh, scrappal.com. Anytime you order from them, sometimes, well, the last couple times I've ordered, they send me a whole, like, little round um, tape of glue of the their their brand, I think. It is so good. I love it. And they have, like, the really narrow side, so I like that. Okay, so I'm going to glue this down. As you can see here, I'm just getting dirty. Getting my fingers all grossy gross. I can't find my tweezers. I gotta find them. And then you glue it down, okay? Now you can add whatever you want to this. You could add another one of those little bows here if you want, a little tag. Just super cute stuff that you can decorate. I'm doing snowflakes. Oh, and the paper line that I use for this, is a Hobby Lobby one. I just got a gift card for my birthday um, last month and I went over there to see what they had and they had it on 50% off or was it 40%? I can't remember. And so I picked this up because I'm going to make a cute little angel book with Erica's dies, which is at another project that I need to finish up um, because I do have another one going where am I okay so all I'm gonna do now is I'm going to layer these up and I'm gonna use the foam tape from Dollar Tree as you can see and I'm just gonna do three um, pieces there so you're just going to add your little adhesives here and then you will lay it down and add whatever embellishments you want to add to your piece I like to go down towards the end here so that I could still have room to put my little trim there. That's what I'm doing. Now I wanna put snowflakes on there. Like I have this one and where's that little one? Like this, but I wanna stand it up. So I've been kind of cutting down my foam just a little bit to, um, and I'm also gonna add glue because sometimes it doesn't stick on there like really well. And it come, ends up coming off and it, here we are. I'm blind, you guys. My tweezers were like right there. Okay, so I'm gonna do it off to the side because I think I'm gonna add a little tag at some point. I just need to find my tiny little um, tags here. And then this one, I don't know if you guys can see. I'm gonna put a little piece of foam there and I am gonna add hot glue to this because I don't think the foam will stick to the glue. So I'm gonna, it'll probably, so I'm just gonna add it so it's a layer there and I wanna put it right there like that. So it, so you can see it kind of pops up and that's how easy it is guys. And then I have these cute little stars that I picked up, I think at Joann's, the Miss Sparkle and Company. I think this is Joann's, if not it's Target. No, it's Joann's. And I'm gonna put one of these jumbo stars right in the middle because the paper, ah, well, no, that's too off center. That's going to drive me crazy. Okay, you guys, be careful when you put, sorry, I'm going to go off camera here and fix this because there we go. Okay, see the little star there? Sorry, my lighting is not the best. So I'm going to try to find a little tag, kind of like how I did. Where are those little ones? Oh, hold on a second. Kind of how I did this with the little tag there. So I gotta find that tag die because I have no idea where it's at because that's how I roll. Okay, so we did that one. I'll come back and finish the other one. Now, what I did for these is I just pulled a bunch of um, gold and blue. And the other paper that I used that I found last year at Michael's, I found this on clearance starting night. I think I got it for like $4 um, in January or like end of January, early February, I think. So I'm going to just start gluing. Some of this is already glued and I did add more of the pop-ups to put here like this. Sorry guys, I have a mess here. Uh, and I'm just gonna layer them up. All of the way that I've been doing it has been layered up and I really, really like how it looks. So we shall. And I'm going to zoom through this. I'm going to speed this up. You guys will see me speed it up because I'm just trying to find the nice little medium there. That's it. 
And then I'm going to do this one. I'm just going to glue it down. I'm going to add glue. Like that. Okay, now this one I do want to do. going to do like this and for this one I did take um wait hold on it needs to be this one wait so these are the two snowflakes that come with the die set it's this set here and I'm going to just adhere it here um I used um a white cardstock and I sprayed it with shimmer mist and then I rubbed it and then I punched my snowflakes out of it. That's what I did for that. And I also fussy cut out this angel from the paper. It's this sheet here. Let me pull it out here real quick. It's this sheet that comes in there and I'm just going to, um, I am Get off my scissors, please. I'm just going to put it there. Like this. Wait, I need to peel that off. Hello. Okay, and I'm going to do it like that. And then I'm just going to add it here like this because I want to. But the, for this, I'm going to use the glue. Like that. And then I need to get more glue sticks. Okay. I'm using my old one glue gun because the new one that I got for a trial I can only use it for my big projects it's too um it leaks too much so now I'm gonna just put the angel there like that and I'm just gonna do two little things like this and voila I am done now the ribbon I'm gonna use for um okay I'm gonna do it like this the ribbon I'm gonna use is this one here and I got it at um, Trader Trader Joe's. Oh my gosh, TJ Maxx or um, oh my goodness, um, Marshalls. One of those two is where I picked it up. Now here I'm gonna use this punch that I have here, and I'm gonna use this scraps of um, paper, and I'm just going to punch it, punch two out. Sorry for the noise, guys. And I'm just going to also layer it up there. I'm gonna cut these little pieces off here and I'm going to just and then I'm just gonna add some stars to these right here like this Ooh, that fits right there that actually looks really cool yay okay let me cut this down just a little bit because it's too big okay and let's do this one like this right there okay so there's my tag guy I'm just sharing a quick walkthrough so check out scrap diva designs don't forget to use my discount code mwalker10 okay thanks for watching